All right, to back on MLB tonight with Sean and Harold. I'm Fran. We're pleased to be joined by Commissioner Rob Manfred. Uh, Rob, always great to see you. And so, what, what does this mean to you to have all these great luminaries who've all won this award? They're all in the same place on a great day for Major League Baseball. It is a great day for baseball. You know, we only have the three days that are named after Major League players. And um, I, I'm just so pleased that we could get so many of the former award winners together, help make the 50th anniversary year really special for Roberto Clemente Day. Yeah, we had, we had breakfast with the commissioner this morning. All of us met at 1271 at the park over there. You know, my, my question for you is how, did, how is this? It's the 21st year of the Roberto Clemente Award and being recognized. How, how has you kept this momentum going through the Clemente family? I'm curious. Well, you know what? I, I think it's actually his momentum, to tell you the truth. Um, within the organization, we regardless to be the highest award for our players because of the combination of on-field and what players do off the field. And, and we believe that combination is what sets our sport apart, that our players are so engaged in the community. And so it's really the momentum is driven by the memory of Roberto. Roberto Clemente and you know the award winners themselves. It's a nice little fraternity which obviously you are a member of. Commissioner, while I have you here, I want to ask you a question about the new rule changes because I think they're great for baseball. How did you end up coming up with them and, and, and how, how fired up are you that they got passed? Well, I'm, I'm really excited <laughs> about the new rules. Um, you know, I, I think it's important to understand our approach on the rules has always been simple. It's about what your fans tell you. And, you know, we did a lot of fan research, surveys, focus groups to determine what fans are looking for. And um, we tried to develop some rules that we thought would make the game less dead time, more action, more athleticism, things that fans wanted. And then, you know, we took our time. We tested them in the minor leagues. We know how important it is to make a change in the major league rules. So we tested them for, you know, years, literally, in the minor leagues, some of them. Um, and we feel great about what next year is going to look like. You know, I I'm curious because you have a fraternity with commissioners as well, football, basketball. And those other sports, they make rule changes and they catch on mainly because the fans are clamoring for it or media. Do you ever talk with those guys, consult with them, how their rule changes help? Yeah, we, we do um, talk about issues like that that are common to all of us. I think the sentiment um, is that it's harder in baseball just because there hasn't been that tradition of, you know, routine change and adjustment in the rules. The second thing that we learned, you know, player involvement, um, you know, has been probably larger in the other sports, and that's why we went to the Joint Competition Committee to try to make sure that we had a regular ve vehicle for player involvement in the process. How does the commissioner's office like uh, the extra wild card in each league and the excitement the fan bases have we're trying to get in? You know, we, we, we like the new playoff format. We, we think around the trade deadline, you saw a level of activity, number of clubs involved that was higher, and, you know, our audience audience was bigger as a result and you know obviously we've had a lot of excitement in September a lot of clubs still in the hunt and we think that's good for the game. Hey full circle back to the Clemente award when I won it there wasn't like 30 representatives from each team at least you didn't right. know that now the fans can get engaged and everything else how has that helped the I guess raise the level of the, the the awareness of the award. Well, we feel it's important to have the individual clubs involved. When you get into a process where each club has a stake, you know, they want their guy to win. Um, one of the best days of the year, you know, you get that notebook with the 30 write-ups on the nominees, and you just go through, and it, you know, kind of makes you really proud of all of the things players are doing. And trust me, every year it's hard to figure out who ought to win. You know, that might be the biggest change in the sport. You've been around baseball a number of years like I have, seeing how involved players are in the community. It used to be a few, a few clubs would get involved, different things like that. Now it is really a full-on effort. Yeah, every player, you know, it seems like every player either has a foundation, a cause he's associated with, some players, multiple ones. Um, you know, the ones we love the best, I mean, some of our youth programs, we've had players that have just been a absolutely outstanding. I mean, I well publicized Clayton Kershaw made a million dollar donation to a, a an academy that was built in Dallas, not even where he plays. Yeah. Um, wow. So, you know, that's just one example of the things our players do. Rob, we'll <laughs> let you enjoy the rest of the night, and we appreciate the time. Uh, glad to see all three of you. Appreciate Always a pleasure. It. MLB Thank Commissioner you. Rob Manfred joining us here you. on MLB Tonight.